Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Josh D2, and this is the first episode of what I told you guys I'd be bringing you. You name the build that I go with, and today, Rebellious Muffin has won the vote on my channel with the AK-74U, with the Rapid Fire and Silencer, the CZ-75, the Extended Mags, the Frag, the Concussion Grenade, Flak Jacket, Warlord, obviously, for the 74U, and Hacker. So we are on Havana. We're going to see how this is going to go and play out. Um, real quick... Once I uh, post this video, I am going to start up the moderator module back up on the channel. And you guys can, you know, submit new suggestions, vote on other ones, and what have you. Maybe your suggestion will get voted up the most, and will appear in the next episode. So, of course, you know, I, w I was assuming nothing less than seeing the 74U. Actually, I was, I was actually going to be surprised if I didn't see the 74U get voted up the most. And when I told a buddy of mine that I had to use the 74U in this combination, he was like, you would do that, wouldn't you? So, so I'm not going to be biased or anything like that. I'm not going to be biased at all. Um, definitely the 74U does have its strengths, does have its weaknesses. But this is a good choice. You know, I, I, I like using the 74U. It's, it's a lot of fun. Now, however, the CZ-75 with the extended mags, that is also really my primary secondary of choice if I'm not going to be using the Strela 7-3. One of those numbers, I could start going off Rambo Jumbo numbers and uh, basically just start naming off every number in the book, but I'm not. Um, I, I really do like that pistol. I'm not a big fan of the Python just because of the clip size, you know, how small it is. Um, definitely extended mags, I think, with the 18 bullets inside the clip of that pistol is just so helpful. Um, but yeah, definitely um, with, with this suggestion, there was kind of like a little bit of leeway, and that was cool. But definitely, I wanted to, I wanted to use the silencer. And obviously I wanted to use the rapid fire attachment, so obviously Warlord was the necessity in this build. Oh, I got the hiccups again because I just got done eating Fiesta potatoes from Taco Bell. And yes, I did say potatoes, not potatoes. So get mad if you want to, but that's just how it's going to have to be for this commentary. But if you want to leave your suggestion, go to my channel page right now. Go at the end of the video, actually, after you thumbs this up, if that'd be nice of you. And leave what you want me to do. Um, I really liked a lot of the suggestions that people were leaving. They were very creative. Um, some of them were like, only use me blade kind of style. And I'm going to tell you right now, I don't know how well that's going to work out. However, I have been having pretty good luck with commando lunges from Modern Warfare 2. I think I've unlocked that perk indefinitely in Black Ops at some points. Um, I have those very decently long commando lunges at times. But do not get mad if I do not follow the build as is you states because in this I'm going to um, pick up the Galil and get like three kills with the Galil so please don't get mad I hope you don't get mad um, as for kill streaks a lot of you listed kill streaks if you don't list any kill streaks I'm going to go with the basics um, in this case it was the do 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 the spy plane the five for the care package and then the seven for the attack helicopter um, pretty pretty basic not really anything too intense but let me review this build. Um, I, I played with this class about five or six matches with this class. I didn't change anything on it. Um, this was like, I think, game two, and this one turned out the best. For the most part, though, the, the, the games were not that bad. I, I actually enjoyed quite a bit of them, and it, it was actually kind of satisfying to see how well of scores I was getting with the 74U, but then again, I'm not really surprised that I was getting the scores that I was getting with the 74U. Um, but when it came down to actually, you know, being stealthy, but yet still having the pack a punch of the rapid fire on the gun, it was very nice. So that might be, well, you know, a helpful hint. Hacker always a good choice. I mean, if if I was running CTF, I would definitely r would rather run Marathon, just because I'm trying to get those caps. I'm I'm at like six of fifteen currently, even though I'm going to Prestige one more time, or I think two more times. I'm not quite sure yet. But Flak Jacket, obviously, is going to save your life a bunch of times. Here come these hiccups again. And Flak Jacket, really, I don't, I don't really use it that much. Um, what I would rather use instead is Hardline, just because of how the spawns can be sometimes. And if I'm not using Hardline, I would rather use Ghost. But that would also depend on the weapon I'm using, too. I would think in this situation, I would be more than happy to use Ghost over... Flak jacket, but that also depends on what team I'm on and how my team is faring off in the match. Because 
Blackjacking can be one of those things where you turn yourself from a person that's playing TDM to a person that's actually playing an objective-based game mode. So, that can make all the difference. Um, but for the most part, I, I think I only died, you know, three times out of all the games that I played with this class where I think Flak Jacket should have saved me, and it didn't. But on the same token, there was a couple of times where Flak Jacket did save me when I wasn't expecting it to. So, you know, maybe maybe that's the, the turning point with this. But overall, you know, you're still a very versatile person because you have the 100% running speed with the submachine gun, and especially with the rapid fire attachment. I can't stress how much the AK the AK 74U goes from 750 rounds per minute on the fire rate to a thousand with the rapid fire attachment. It is completely insane. It, it basically neglects the fact that you have the silencer on it, which which it can be a good and a bad thing because you know the damage drop off is so greater. Um, it happens very quickly, but at the same time, how did he not? How did I not get him? At the same time, you know, you're going to be popping out those bullets if you can control the recoil. Now, I know a lot of people enjoy having the grip. With this, obviously, you're not going to have the option for the grip. But still, I think that the center speed on the 74U and the center speed is how fast the gun is able to go back to its original point after you are shooting the weapon. Um, I don't, I don't think the center speed is too bad, and I think that's one of the things that makes the 74U a bit uh, overused let's just put it that way so definitely one of the bonus ups on that one um really if you know if you're looking for any more suggestions the 74u is good that's that's all needs to be said the gun's good there's there's no doubt in my mind about it come on die and here we go with the look at this that's where that 18 clip comes in you'd never been getting that with the python well you might have but you know we will never know so, um, let, and let me let me just say something as far as would I change anything with this build? Um, yeah, I probably would. I'd probably get rid of the silencer and put on the grip, just because with rapid fire, the aim can go anywhere. Your uh, your iron sights can simply just go all over the place, and I think that the grip, because it gives an extra 200 to the center speed, will really save with that extent, with that added recoil to the gun. And really, iron sights are perfectly fine, so we don't have no need for a sight. Um, I think, like I said earlier, with flak jacket, could be gone for something else. Maybe scavenger. You know, with rapid fire, you're going to be flying through bullets, so scavenger might be good. And I'm more of a sleight of hand person over a warlord, but I'm going to keep warlord on just for the sake of what I said earlier with the um, grip and the rapid fire attachment. I'd rather I'd rather see myself going with um, like maybe sleight of hand in a grip or dual mags and something else, dual mags and maybe hardened or something of that nature. Um, I really like to utilize all the attachments the best I can. But other than that, I really don't think I change anything. But there you can see I'm just failing with shooting long range because because it's it's the rapid fire that really will kill you at that long of a range. But I think the video is going to soon be ending here in just a little bit. Again, if you want to go and suggest a um, suggest a build for me to use in episode two, all you have to do is go to my channel page. When you see this uploaded, my the moderator module is going to be all redone. I just hit my microphone, all redone because I spin my fingers around, and you'll be able to suggest and vote on the build that you want me to use. And you know, don't hesitate to, to think of something creative. I, I would love to do something creative. I, I really would. And um, yeah, if you get high rating votes, and I'm not voting, I am not voting. Uh, before, we had like 60 some votes on, I think, uh, 12 different suggestions. That's cool. That's cool. If you don't have a suggestion, at least vote on certain things. You know, thumbs it up, thumbs it down if you don't like it. And if you get, you know, the uppity ups, you might be featured in the next video. So there we have it. Won that game of domination, and what is the score? I know the video kind of cuts off here. Like, no sound, no nothing. And I'm like, oh, wait, what was my score? Um, there you have it, 35 and 13. Not too bad. But, uh, yeah, let me know on the channel page, and I'll see you guys next time.